What's up guys? So if you've tried cold brew, you know how delicious it is. I haven't drank drip coffee or espresso in over a month. Uh, we've been making cold brew here every day and it's so damn easy. I don't know why we didn't do it sooner. So I'm gonna show you how to make cold brew at home two ways and it's super simple. Let's get into it. So the first method is using a French press, and if you don't have one of these, don't worry, the second method is just for you. So I have an eight cup French press, and depending on the size of yours, these amounts will vary slightly. I'm gonna add three quarters of a cup of coffee grounds, and then top that with about five and a half to six cups of water to fill this out. You can use these ratios as a guide to find the right amount for whatever vessels you have. Once the coffee and the water are mixed together, we're done. We just let this sit on the counter overnight or in the refrigerator for about 12 hours, up to 24 hours if you want, depending on how you like yours to taste. You can experiment with this. We'll get back to this in the morning after I show you method two. So for those of you without a French press, all you're gonna need for this is a large jar with a lid, some cheesecloth or coffee filters, a few rubber bands, and a funnel. For both methods, you will need a container to store the brewed coffee in. I like these glass flip top bottles, but just use what you have. I'm using a half gallon ball jar, and so I'm gonna add about one and a quarter cup of coffee to around five and a half cups of water. Put the lid on that and shake it lightly to incorporate. And now you're done. Again, we're gonna let these sit on the counter or in the fridge overnight or up to 24 hours, and we'll check them in the morning. So it's been about 15 hours on these. If you're using the French press method, all you gotta do is press the plunger down to strain it and then pour this into one of your bottles or directly into your mug and enjoy it. For method two, remove your lid from the jar and we're gonna affix our cheesecloth or our coffee filters around the mouth of the jar using the rubber bands. If you're using a cheesecloth, I recommend folding it over two to three times to help it strain better. Something I had realized later, if you take the ring to the lid of your jar and put this back on, it'll really help hold that into place. It's not required, but it does help to have a mesh strainer, especially if using coffee filters, just to help catch any excess crowns in case it rips or comes loose. And this can pour out fast, so be careful. I laid a towel down to film this, but I recommend you doing it over the sink. Sometimes you have to tap it or rock it back and forth just to move the grounds around so that it can drain properly. This jar got me about three 16 ounce bottles worth, which will last a couple of days. Just clean your jar or French press and refill it back up for the next day and you're set. You can flavor this however you'd like. Some people dilute it with water, but I just like to flavor it from here. So experiment, figure out what you like. I'll leave my estimated recipe for it in the description, along with a detailed recipe for both methods. Please like this video, leave a comment below, let me know if you end up making this, how it turns out, and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.